One. And here we go, round one of eight three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winner. wrestling gear this this colonel we have seen him on television before he's one of these wrestlers that comes over here uh, occasionally to the UK every so often but mostly wrestles abroad America Canada Germany and Japan right, boys, right this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nicely sidestep that one and Brody won't be mad about that a powerhouse this man and much bigger than Steve Logan who's just a little less than 15 stone now but he's gone way up into the heavyweight bracket as you can see came back from Canada and went to Germany for the tournaments out there He was right there, so he's quite happy about it. Uh, well, there is Steve Logan of Birmingham. Born 1964, he became a pro at 17 years old, one of the youngest pros we've had. Turned professional wrestler then in May 1980. Seconds away, round two. 14 stone 11 now, very, very nearly 15 stone mark, but uh, taking on the heavyweight, Colonel Brody. In this one. Uh, oh, a little late, went down a bit late. Anyway, didn't worry, Steve, throw him off of okay. Saving four. And that's why he's so easily taken away from that move. So Brody with a side headlock, two minutes to go. A little bit of hair. Help from the hair pull then by Brody. The referee was right behind him. Face his fine drop under the knee. Perfect 
completely legal. So the foot into the chest on his way off the ropes. Yes, as long as it's only one after the move, that's all right, but it's going to be two again. Just a bug. Well, this time he was way off feet. And it's a fold up from the side, almost to Steve Logan. Very definitely now. Not in this country. Less than half a minute now. Yes, nice quick leg dive. And a rollover. Beautiful by Brody. They're very fast move for a big man. Ten seconds. Logan puts the head scissors on, and it's right on the bell to save it. Let's have a look at the Colonel. Colonel Brody, a South African. The first time we saw him was uh, in February of last year. Uh, and I think we've only seen him once since. Left for South Africa the day after that particular show. Wouldn't talk to me at all and wouldn't talk to me this afternoon either. Seconds away, round three. So Bro Brody straight into the move. But he finished the hole. The last round with, or attempted to. Before Logan encountered him. Timing the drop kicks well there. Forearm smashes led by two drop kicks. Up a cut. Oh, punch straight to the stomach. And a bit low with it, but certainly a punch. Referee not for sure. Not absolutely sure. So he has to let it go. And another one. No, that was okay. Referee right there. The Logan complained to the referee, asking for protection here. Oh, back elbow. Watch into that. And the catch roll and slam to Brody. Followed down cross press and trouble for Logan here. Yes, he held that. Logan right leg. Unable to get out of it. First fall to Brody in round three. With just one minute, 30 seconds. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, in round three. The first fall of the contest for and the red corner. The Colonel move again, Brody. and we see him come off the ropes from the posting. Brody grabs the crotch hole, slam quickly down with the knee holding one arm and the other arm holding the right Logan leg. No chance to get out of that. So the first fall to Brody in round three. Seconds away, round four. Now then, can Logan come back here? Offer up, Brody! Offer up! Bring it! Offer up! Offer up, Brody! Offer up! Offer up! Offer up! What's the matter with you? Right! Hold That's it! On the, on the ropes, that was. It was a forearm, but it was on the ropes. Public warning to Colonel Brody. Spectators are quite right, of course. Don't like that sort of treatment. And they're uh, just screaming at him out. Good guillotine by Logan there. Got 
So this is the same one. And can Logan equalize with the same move? No. And he doesn't follow in this time. And if he does now, he's too late. There he goes. Backbreaker over the shoulder. Beautiful back shot there by Logan. Very neat. He's got his back weak and two, so he's going for a crash and a cross press. And he's got it. The equalizer to Logan. Round four.